everybody, it's Steve, and today I'm going to be showing you a new NFT project on the Wax blockchain. And then pretty soon I'll be back with some more info on another Splinterlands team. As you can see, I did the fire team, the water team. Anybody who doesn't want to talk about this project, do a quick comment. Tell me what team I should do next, and maybe I'll do the team that I see the most in the comments. And make sure you know you subscribe and like if you want to keep up with these things. The last little NFT project that went over, nobody really got into. This one was on Ethereum, a little harder to buy. It was one of those avatar drops called Rebel Bots. It did sell out, so we're waiting to see now if it builds popularity like some of the other ones, and we see that ETH price rise. It was a cheaper one at 0.03 ETH, and so we're going to talk about a project today that it compares comparable is kind of around that same price but over on the wax blockchain so the project we're we'll talking about today is waxel now there's some exciting things going on with this drop it did come out today sorry i didn't make the video pre-drop but i just got a little bit busy with other things going on it snuck up on me but luckily this one isn't selling out super fast and i think people are kind of overlooking this project because they do have a pretty good plan for these so they are doing something fun with the drop. So as the things go out, we did get they did get past their uh, pre-sale whitelist sale and their first uh, 800 packs that they did at a discount. So you can see they did sell out the first 500, and then they they did sell out uh, another another set that they were selling out at a, at a five dollar discount. And they've started to sell out now their main 8,009 packs at this 29.30 90 price. It's payable in wax, so that's something that's really nice. They're not trying to do that credit card drop. And then we'll go over some of the perks they're doing. Once they get the 2,000 packs sold, they're going to airdrop one pack uh, to 10 people that have bought at least one pack. So uh, we don't know how many people will be in that drawing because I imagine most people who buy these are at least buying two or three. But you never know. There might be just people buying one. But So we'll get a little airdrop. Some lucky people will get some. Once they've sold 4,000, there's going to be airdrop of 500 wax coins to five random people. So they'll be giving away 2,500 wax. That's pretty exciting. If you were to get that, it would almost get you. It would definitely pay for one pack. It would even pay for two, two about, uh, no, three. It would pay for about three packs. So you'd get a refund on those. And then there is a, at 6,000, you're going to get five random people. We'll get one pack. We'll, we'll get a special customized Wax Ninja. Now, uh, if you saw Crypto Sash and Ken Bozak got featured and they featured this project and they basically made a special Wax Ninja to their likeness. And that was something kind of cool or a Waxel as they're being called. And so you'll have the ability for them to make one of you or that you like um depending on you know what you work out with the team and then at eight thousand packs sold they will build a merch store to go ahead and sell t-shirts and things this is kind of one of those perks they're talk about for once they reach a certain level in their project they'll be able to do that and if they do all packs sold out they're going to create a fund where five percent of proceeds from this collection and sale will be trans that will be transferred to and then those funds will be used for collaborations with other projects and for purchasing other nfts like uh, from the upworld project or the sandbox in order to extend the reach of the waxel product that's because these aren't just avatars this isn't just an avatar project in fact they almost really don't even look like avatars it's really an nft project where they're going to be building an entire world and these are going to be characters you're going to need to have if you want to interact act with this world now i don't know exactly what gameplay or anything like that will be like because we're still very early in the roadmap but let's go ahead and take a look at the wax on ninja and give you a more idea of what it was at see so here was the whitelist sale here was the discounted sale those are sold out at this point and we're currently at the public sale you do have plenty of time to get into this but you only have a little bit of time before we're going to reach that first airdrop if you're we're interested in trying to win a pack so as you can see, here's the here's the characters. I'll let it go here because it's just going to kind of randomly go through the different ones. It's a pixel art kind of character on a almost what I would say a slightly better pixel art piece of art in the background. They're showing the mountain one here, but there are different backgrounds. But I just wanted to let you kind of so scroll through. They are animated, but you can that is a one of the lucky attributes of it so some of them are not animated and the more rarer ones are animated we you, i'll have a link to this site so you can go through they kind of explain it all they explain how many packs were for each one of the sales and then they did also talk about the different the rarities and the combinations 
Here you can see they have some different races, human, orc, undead, elf, or demons, different chances to get each one. As you get down here, they talk about how rare a legendary trait is at 2%. And if you go down further, they start showing you what are the legendary traits. So on the races, it's being a demon. On the eyes, it's having red eyes. On the belts, it's having a black belt. So you can see that there are some different ones. And then I have opened one, so I'll go ahead and show you mine when I when we get to that. I didn't get I'm pretty lucky. I actually got a lot of common stuff. And this is just and here's the different backgrounds. So you can have a mountain, a wood background, a street, a, they call this a Tori. And then this one here is in the fields. Those are actually all equal chance. So there's not a, a legendary version of these. So this is really just a preference if you are hoping to get one of these. It's a 20% chance to get any one of these. You'd have to see, you know, if maybe the Waxel looks good or not in there. And then they have this one here where you can come and like kind of highlight the pieces and see. So now that we've gone through that let's take a quick look at the roadmap so today is the relief of, of the wax on ninja collectibles on the wax blockchain that was right now once this gets going and hopefully the sale gets going the team will go ahead and start to build out what they're calling the waxel world they're starting with the waxel ninja content but they do have an ambitious roadmap it looks like to grow this out to having lots of different things and they are going to be kind of hoping to combine with some other projects to be able to issue some Waxel NFTs that would be in the theme of those projects. And then those projects maybe add in the Waxel NFTs to some kind of functionality within their project. The one that always stands out on the Wax blockchain is our planet because it allows you to stake different NFTs to earn their cryptocurrency. But that project's kind of, you know, that, that token's gone down a little bit. It doesn't have the hype it used to have. But there are some other projects out there like Colonize Mars. And they have already talked about maybe even reaching out into different chains. So we'll have to see where that goes. None of that is in stone yet, so though. So this is a bit of a speculative buy, hoping that they can grow this project, that they can sell these things, and that they can get this going and people will really get excited. Over here in quarter two next year, they want to just basically continue to grow that world and then start to give out special assets. They're talking about different armors, weapons, pets, uh, dishes and buildings and things. So as you can imagine, they're trying to let you eventually build out an entire world within this game. And they also talk about, you know, passive NFT generation. So being part of it will allow you to get some things you may be able to sell or just help you grow your little collection. Hopefully you can get into liking this game. And then the, the really from there in the next quarter, this is a kind of a short roadmap for now. They're just going to continue building things and also start to talk about adding things besides just the ninjas into the game but we'll have to see obviously this roadmap is kind of general so i imagine things will be really fluid over the next couple of months into the early part of next year with the suggest of the pro success of the project and what the community wants to do because they do have an active discord where they're very talkative with us now we'll go ahead and get here as we'll just check in on the drops let me do a quick refresh I think they were at 13, yeah, so they're at 13, 17 sold of 10,000 maximum. So that is a bit of a slow buy. So if this worries you, you can just watch the project maybe and see if they start to pick up some steam. They've sold 216 out of the regular full price packs. And then they need to sell 684 more to get to 2,000 packs sold and do that first airdrop. And currently pra prices are at uh, 29.90. So this wax number will change, but they're selling them at this price and then the, whatever wax happens to be at when you come to purchase them. They, they go over here again, all the milestones and everything that I talked about in the past. So I'll go ahead and go here. As you can see, I bought some packs. I did get into it this morning before I had a chance to make the video. I bought mine at the $5 discount. And I was able to, they had a timer. You could buy one every minute. I was able to buy seven before it uh, reached its end. I could have maybe bought more, but I got onto it a little bit late. And then I opened up this little one right here. So as you can see, I got a human. So if we go back to the... Uh, the race <laughs> rate I got the most common one was human and then if we go back to me I got brown eyes and a wooden katana so brown eyes are the most common a katana on back is the most common I got one of those 
let's see what weapon wooden staff wooden katana so common 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 i told you i didn't get a good one and uh let's see belt is green head is red and torso is pink this is just kind of a little fun little thing let's see um head is red oh i got a i got a legendary red head <laughs> so that's that's one piece i got that was red and then pink and green for the next ones so pink is actually pretty rare on the torso so i got red pink and then green which is down here kind of on the more common side of the feet and then i got the on on mine i have the uh the mountain backdrop which actually i think might be my favorite backdrop this one's pretty cool so that's kind of funny you can't really see the um the the pink <laughs> neckline in there and then mine is static so you see he doesn't have any kind of action but he does move a little bit so i guess they all move a tiny bit um because this is i think as animation as idle is about the most boring one and i think that's right when you go to the animation tab so oh no wait idle's actually one up so i'm idle with a cantana bouncing a completely static would be the the most common trait to get so overall maybe mine you know he started off really really common and then he has a few rare traits so we'll have to see how much he can be but this is the first one i've opened i do have some other packs so i'm thinking about maybe organizing some giveaways uh and you know i just like to hold on to everything on wax to just see where it goes i'll open them if the project doesn't go anywhere just for fun and if it does well then i might resell a couple but that you have to figure out how you want to play any drop you decide to get into Let's see, did I have, this is just the drop. All right, guys, I think that's all today. Other than just, like I said, I'll have a link to their Discord. You can come and check it out. You can come talk to the team. You can come see if you do want to get involved with this. It was a short video today, so thank you very much for hanging out with me, and I'll be back soon. Bye.